More than 200 people die each year in the U.S. in crashes involving cars that slide underneath tractor trailers. That's according to government figures. Now a local engineer has come up with a device he says could prevent some of those deaths. Yeah, tonight in a story you'll see only on CBS 17, consumer investigator Steve Sprache attended a crash test to see just how effective that new device can be. This test was five years in the making. Its inventor looking for something to prevent underride crashes, which also satisfies the trucking industry. We're trying to match crash performance with weight and cost. This is what happens when a car collides with the side of a truck. The results are often fatal. There are side barriers available for trucks, but the industry opposes them for a variety of reasons, including the fact that they add too much weight and can structurally damage the tractor trailer unit. Three, two, this 35 mile an hour test, conducted with a lightweight safety skirt, addresses those concerns. You don't want to put extra mass on a trailer if you don't have to. Among those watching the test, Mary Ann Carth, who lost daughters Analia and Mary in an underride crash in 2013. Your first reaction when you saw how this crash test worked? Yes. I'm so thankful. It's, you know, we knew it was it could be done, but you know, until you test it, you don't know for sure. By not going under the truck, the vehicle's survival space is not damaged. He's in good shape. <laughs> what do you think? Success? Complete success, yeah. Just uh, thankful that it turned out this way and that the system worked as designed. Also among those monitoring the test, the State Highway Patrol's Truck Safety Unit. Just looking at it here at first glance, uh, I think it's fairly effective. Under the recently passed infrastructure bill, the DOT has been tasked with investigating underride crashes on trucks and looking at devices like this. Working for you, I'm consumer investigator Steve Sprasia.